Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, November 26th, a major storm that produced heavy rainfall, blizzard conditions across the Midwest, is moving northeast this morning over the Great Lakes region. It is producing significant snow in places like Michigan and other parts of the Great Lakes region on the way to upper New England, Vermont, New Hampshire, much of Maine will get significant snowfall out of this system. Rain has moved in on the warmer southeastern flank of this storm into the Washington DC area. That rain will actually become heavier as you move up the I-95 corridor, a little bit heavier in Philadelphia during the midday and afternoon hours compared to DC, heavier still in New York City compared to Philadelphia. In Philadelphia region, New York City region, because of the heavy rainfall over the weekend, flash flood watches are out. Any kind of heavy rainfall this afternoon into the early evening certainly ca can cause some localized flooding conditions in those two metro regions. Probably not likely in D.C. because the rain just will not be heavy enough uh, compared to up the coastline. So again, a major storm here. Here's the latest radar loop from IntelliCast.com. On the southeastern side of this low pressure area, it's warm enough for all rain, certainly in the I-95 Carter region, but heavy snow continues to fall across Michigan into the upper part of the Great Lakes region. It's turned out to be one of the all-time great November snowstorms for parts of the Midwest. Chicago, anywhere from uh, uh, 8 to 12 inches or so in the Chicago metro region, one of their uh, uh, heaviest snowfalls ever for the month of November, and certainly it uh, wreaked havoc for travel on this, uh, the end of the Thanksgiving break here, uh, Sunday into Monday, hundreds and hundreds of flights canceled. Again, that snow will continue, and then places like Vermont, New Hampshire, and much of Maine will get significant snow out of this system over the next 12 to 24 hours or so, and just rain in the I-95 Carter region. Well, let's take a look at the uh, uh, 06Z run of the GFS model. We're looking at forecast maps in six-hour increments. These maps, by the way, from tropicaltidbits.com. Low pressure as we start off the day in the northwestern part of Ohio. On the northwest side, cold enough for snow. And not all that much going on in Detroit right now. Certainly a, a little bit to the north and west. It's snowing already in Flint. It'll change over to snow in Detroit where they could get a few inches of snow. And again, all of that moves to the north and east over the next 12 to 24 hours or so. Rain has begun in D.C. It will move into Philadelphia shortly and New York City during the afternoon hours. Right now dry in California, but more rain is uh, expected in California over the next few days. Let's move forward here. Rain, midday and afternoon in Philadelphia, New York City. The most of the rainfall will be over with by early afternoon in the Washington metro region. Here we go. Again, it gets a little heavier in intensity here as it goes up the uh, I-95 car to expect perhaps an inch and a half in the New York City metro region, maybe an inch of rain in Philly, maybe half an inch in D.C. and then snow starts to break out in places like Vermont, New Hampshire, and into Maine and they will get significant accumulations in those three areas. Following the passage of this storm system early tomorrow, a cold air mass for this time of the year will pour in on strong northwest winds into the mid-Atlantic region. We basically stay dry but cold and windy on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. High temperatures today in the D.C., Philadelphia, New York City corridor, not too far from 50 degrees, much closer to the 40 degree mark on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And again, there'll be a lot of wind over the next few days. Well, let's keep moving forward here. Notice the rain now sliding, <coughs> excuse me, sliding down the coast in California. First, it'll uh, cause some significant rainfall in Northern California, and then it slides all the way down into Southern California. Here we are by uh, Thursday morning. Notice pressure gradient still tight here in the northeastern part of the country. Still windy conditions. It's going to be a, not only cold but a windy period starting from tonight right into the day on Thursday in the mid-Atlantic region in the northeast part of the nation. High pressure takes over and a lot of rainfall here over California over the next three, four, five days or so. Then we'll have to start watching for the weekend. It looks like 
Uh, first of all, a weaker system in the Friday night time frame could cause some rain or snow showers in the Mid-Atlantic region, but uh, then another significant rain event looks like it's on the table for the upcoming weekend. Well, let's walk through the 850 temperature anomalies from last night's 60 GFS model run. Normal to slightly above normal today in the I-95 corridor region from D.C. to Philadelphia to New York City. Again, afternoon highs not too far from 50 degrees, but here is that cold air mass. Uh, certainly contributed to a major snowfall for the month of November in uh, the Central Plains and the Midwest, all the way from Kansas City to Chicago. Now pretty close to Detroit and eventually it will be up across northern New England. Let's move forward here. Following the passage of that low pressure system, cold air will flood into the mid-Atlantic region. Below normal temperatures on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Again, with a lot of wind on those three days in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, throughout the northeastern part of the nation. Meanwhile, the western half of the nation warmer than normal. This cold air mass starts to finally push out of here by the end of the work week. Here we are now into uh, the uh, last day, Friday morning here. Notice uh, warmer than normal conditions across much of the central part of the nation now spilling over into the Midwest. And again, we have a weak system off we'll to watch on Friday and then the potential for some more significant rainfall over the upcoming weekend in the Mid-Atlantic region. So a big snowstorm for the month of November across the Central Plains and the Midwest. That snow, significant snow, will push into uh, northern New England over the next 12 to 24 hours or so. Expect significant s snow in places like Vermont, New Hampshire, and much of Maine. Another rain event for D.C., Philadelphia, and New York City. That's it for now. For PerspectiveWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.